And it says Eugene Henrikovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Pavilion DM1 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace the screen on an HP DM1 computer. All right, before we do anything, we want to remove the battery to make sure that the laptop is safe to work on. So we flip the laptop over, and there's one lever just slide in the middle. We slide that lever, and we pull the battery out. So now the laptop is safe to work on. So let's open it up again and take a look. Like most other laptops, you have to remove the screen bezel in order to get to the screen. And the screen bezel is held by two screws at the bottom here. And these two screws are hidden by rubber covers. So let's go over the tools that we're going to use. We're going to use an um, electronic screwdriver with a PH1 bit. PH stands for Phillips, and one is the size. And we have a smaller PH0 bit, just in case. We also have an X-Acto knife with a pointed blade and a pair of metal tweezers. I'm going to adjust my camera a little bit so it doesn't shake as much. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is remove the rubber covers to expose the screws. So we use the X-Acto knife. And what we like to do is put the rubber covers nearby so I don't lose them. One and two. And it looks like our pH zero bit's gonna come in handy in this case. So we get our put our pH zero bit on and remove the two screws on the bottom of the screen. There's one and there's two. Let's get a book with your look. Like so. All right, next we are ready to remove the screen. This is probably the hardest part of the job. And what I like to do is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start frying up the screen bezel. This one has pretty strong adhesive, so you might want to go around and see if you can find a weak spot and go from the weak spot. Like so, I'm going around and finding where the weak spot is. And so far, I'm going around. And you have to use a little bit of force at first to free the adhesive before the screen starts snapping off. And when you hear the snapping sounds, that's a good sign. Okay, and it's almost off like so and we remove the screen bezel and we put it to the side now this particular laptop has a slim screen that means it's thinner than a standard screen and also that means that it's mounted not from the sides as usual but it's mounted by tabs from the front and so all we have to do is remove the screws to the tabs in the front to remove the screen instead of going to the screws on sides as in most other laptops. So let's do that. Looks like there's three screws on each side. We remove them one by one. Two. Three. This size is 11.6 inches. It's a little bit unusual size. You're not going to find too many laptops with this screen size, but I like it. It's not as small as a netbook, but it's still portable enough. Okay, and we remove the last screw. 
Okay, when you remove the screws, make sure the screen assembly is to the back of it so the screen dish doesn't pop forward on you. Okay, once we remove the screws, we gently tilt the screen forward. Make sure there's nothing stopping it. And once we tilt the screen forward, we see the connector. This is a LED screen, and there's only one connector at the bottom here. So we lift up the tape, like so. And once we lift up the tape, we gently pull off the connector. It's a little bit more tricky in this case because it's on the bottom. We don't want to damage it. It's got some adhesive on the back, that's why it's so difficult. It's got some tape, so we remove the tape and we remove the connector. So let's take a look again. The connector is kind of wrapped around the screen, which made it tricky. So if I were to do it again, I would remove this tape first and then remove this tab and then remove the back of the connector. That would make the job a little bit easier. Okay, so let's take a look at the screen we have. Let's get a good focus. Okay. There we go. It's B116XW03B0. It's an 11.6 inch LED screen that is slim. So that's what you have to look up when you do a search online. All right. Um, also, we as screen surgeons saw the screen also. And you go to screensurgeons.com and click on buy a screen. And what you get with us is free email technical support when you install the screen. And also we have a free compatibility guarantee. That means if we send you a screen that's not compatible, we will replace it and no charge with a compatible version. Okay, so when you have your new screen and you're ready to put it in, you have to make sure that the connector is in all the way, slid it in all the way. And this one's a little bit tricky, so let's try to put it in, see if we can do it right. What I'm going to do probably is pull the adhesive tape on the back, and I'm going to slide the connector in first. Okay. Make sure you feel quick. Okay, I'm going to get in a close-up, show you what it's supposed to look like when it's fully connected. Let's get a good focus. Okay, here's a good focus. So, pause the video right there and make sure your connector looks like that and not coming out a little bit and not a crooked so that you have a good connection because that's the biggest source of error that I see. So concentrate, make sure the connector is fully snapped in. All right, once you do that, you put the adhesive tape back on the way it was before. Put the screen back in and put the three screws on your side back in. Snap on the plastic bezel and put on the two screws on the bottom and you're good to go and you're finished. And that's it. And once again, my name is Eugene Henrykovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.